the person I'm with isn't a woman. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're with the- A man, yeah. Meeting up with DQ, Trent, and Jaquise to discuss this business plan. So you're really gonna do it? You're gonna go into business for yourself? I got a little date lined up for the night. Ain't nothing too crazy yet, but she cool company so far. I'm sick of y'all putting me on the back burner. Being a part of a sorority is a lot of work and it takes a lot of time and energy on top of classes and stuff. I thought you'd understand that. I wonder if this is the right time, if she's the right person for me. Hell, I wonder if I'm the right person for her. Every dude gets cold feet on the way to the Archie. I saw the fraternity jacket on the chair. I also noticed the line number. The same number Carter was given at his crossover. Um, news last summer? He's Kayla's boyfriend. Maybe he forgot it there one day. This is the best Thanksgiving thus far. I'd have to agree. <laughs> I guess I'm off the market. Cause I told you about having these random flings around my son. You just had to move after getting too comfortable with the last motherfucker and letting him know where you live. Oh yeah. I was so distracted last night. I forgot to charge it. Oh, I'm a distraction now. Stop acting like you hate me. Who said it was an ex? Somewhere in all of this, I just lost myself, and the way I've been carrying on hasn't been fair to either of them. It hasn't been fair to myself either, so yeah, I'm letting them both go. I proposed to you and you fucking this nigga? I didn't mean for things to go this way. I'm sorry. Keep your sorry. I don't want that shit, and I don't want your cheating ass. You've been acting, I don't know, different since you saw Walter. I'm fine. I promise. Damn, yeah. All right, see you guys next week, same day and time. Hey, Kayla. Hey. I just wanted to say thank you. For what? Well, for attending my study groups. You're here faithfully every week, and I really appreciate that. Just trying to be the best that I can be, you know? But you're welcome. So what are your plans for the night? <sighs> Nothing much. My roommates will probably be off doing some Greek stuff, so I'll be alone most likely. Probably gonna binge watch Insecure or something. Girl, I love that show. You want some company? Oh, uh, sure. I only have a laptop though, so it's not much of a screen to share. Girl, that's okay. I have a flat screen in my room if you just wanna watch it there. That sounds so much better. I just gotta drop my things off in my room first. Cool, I'll come with. Hey, Kay. What are you doing here? <laughs> I thought you had a study group or something. I did. The real question is, what are you doing here? You're never here. Oh, um, I was just grabbing my, um, my hairbrush. Have you seen it? I'm sure it's in the bathroom. <laughs> right. Duh. Let me get to that. Well, that's Milan, the weird one. Do you have snacks in your room? Plenty. Okay, good. Found it. Okay. Anyway, this is Michaela. She runs the study groups every week. Michaela, this is Milan. Hi. Hey. Give me two minutes to use the bathroom and I'll be ready to go, Michaela. Okay, cool. Wait, wait. Where are you going? Um, to the bathroom? Why are you acting so weird? I actually have to use it. You were just in there. Yeah, well, I didn't have to go until now. Stop playing and move, Milan. No, I'm going first. Move out of the way. No! Okay, you can use it. Kayla! 
What are you hiding in here? Kayla, I have to use the bathroom. Get out. Kayla! Carter? What are you... It's not what you think. Are you... Are you a Milan? Baby, listen. You sorry ass nigga. And you, how could you? Kay, it's not... Not what I think, huh? You bitch. Kay, wait. Y'all stop, man. Oh my God. You fucking bitch. Get off me. What the... What kind of friend fucks her best friend's boyfriend? Maybe if you weren't doing your job right, I wouldn't have to. I'll beat your ass again. Calm down, Kate. All right? Just let it go. What's going on in here? What happened? Your loose ass friend is fucking Carter. <coughs> Wait, did you know about this? Summer, answer me. I didn't know. I was kind of suspicious, but I wasn't sure. Why wouldn't you tell me? Because I Both of y'all are a couple of sorry excuses for friends. All three of you are dead to me. Let's go, Michaela. Kay. Stupid hoe shifting my wig. Are you sure you're gonna be all right while I'm away for the weekend? I'm gonna be fine, baby. Go turn up in New Orleans with your girls. I love you. You the best daddy and boyfriend anybody could ever ask for. <laughs> I know, and I love you too, baby. Call me when you can. I will. Yo. Hey, yo, bro. Just hitting you up to let you know we about to head to the airport soon. Are you sure you don't want to come to Vegas for the weekend? Nah. That nigga Percy gonna be there. I'm good on that. Well, look. You know I got Danielle checked back into rehab last month. She's in the six-month program this time, and she's been doing good so far. But I'm a little worried with me leaving. She'll fall off. I just need you to check on her for me this weekend when you can. I got you, bro. Get lit in Vegas for me. Appreciate it. You know I got you. All right. Later. Bye. So, how do you feel about tonight? I actually feel good about this. I never thought I'd see the day I retired a pole, but it's happening. Damn, they done turned you out, huh? <laughs> Bitch, shut up. They ain't turning nothing out. They just introduced me to some new shit, you know? Things I thought I'd never enjoy because I never tried them. But I actually like being in front of the camera. And I look damn good, too. No cap. Them pics you showed me were bomb as fuck. I'm glad for you, girl. You done got committed and switched careers. You're changing, and I mean that in the best way. Thank you, mama. Janelle is getting older, and I've been thinking about that lately. I want to set a better example for her. I don't want her to think this is the only lifestyle to live. I want better for her, you know? I feel you. So, what's up with you? You going back to pass anytime soon? Nah, I'm done with that for good. How are things with Ro? <sighs> I don't know, girl. He's still mad at me for up and leaving for New York last month without telling him. He said he felt like I lost his money or something. Lost him money? I didn't mean to say that. Uh, what he got you doing, Dime? Just forget it, Janae. Girl, why you won't talk to me? You think I'm going to judge you or something? If that's what you're thinking, you ain't got to worry about that. I mean, it's me, Janae. I ain't never been in the position to judge no damn body. Just talk to me. Rose been... He's been having me take on clients. Clients as an escorter? <laughs> I wish I was just escorting. 
He sets up these appointments for me to meet up with men at these motels. Sometimes it's just one. Other times it's a group of them in there. It's like he convinced me to quit dancing for this. He said he feel I wasn't making real money at Pat's and he's just trying to help me. Damn, Don. Are you getting more money doing it? <laughs> they pay well. He takes most of it though. Says he's saving it up for me just holding it so that I'm not tempted to spend it. And you believe that? I want to, but honestly, I don't. At first, I did believe he was trying to help me. I thought he cared about me for real in the beginning. And now? I think he cares, but only as long as it benefits him. I realize that now, and I don't want to do this anymore, but I'm afraid to leave. I don't even know how I would go about doing that. Do you feel like he hurt you if you tried? Worse. I feel like he would kill me. And I need to be here. I have people who may, you know, need me someday. Like your sister? Danny doesn't need me. She has Chaz. Then who are you talking about? I have a son. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What? Since when? <sighs> He's three. I gave him up for adoption immediately after I had him. Why? Because he was Mike's son. I never told him I was pregnant. I knew he would have wanted me to keep it. And as selfish as it may sound, my conscience just wouldn't let me do that. Plus, I wanted a better life for him. I wanted him to have both of his parents in his life. I wanted him to be loved and taken care of. And most of all, I wanted him to be safe. Because the life that Mike lived would have jeopardized that. I wanted my baby to have everything I never did. So I had to make that tough decision and give him up. I know that had to be hard. It was. I thought about him every day afterwards. I still think about him. But after Mike died, it's like something just clicked in me. So I started looking for him. And... I found him. Is that why you went to New York? Yes. I sat in front of his daycare for hours just watching him play and learn and interact with the other kids. It took everything in me not to run up to him and hug him, but I fought it. Seeing how happy he was, his bright little smile. <laughs> I had to remember that, you know, I gave him up for a reason. I didn't want to ruin that by confusing him. I understand. But when I got back to LA, girl, all hell broke loose for Roe. He's gotten comfortable putting his hands on me when everything's don't go his way. So yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Then we made up and here we are, back to the bullshit. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. What would you do? Well, if I were in your shoes, again, because you know I've been there with Ryder, I'd make my exit when he's not paying attention. You got to slither your way out of this dime. And go where? Move again? If that's what has to happen. That's so much work, though. Well, do you think your life is worth the work? That's something to think about. I gotta take this, I'll be back. All right. Hello? Hey Ma, where you at? Out shopping with a friend. What friend? <sighs> Ice. What's that side for? Nothing, I'm just a little tired. Yo, I got a few licks lined up for you tonight. Bro, I told you Ice is having her last dance tonight at Pat's and I promised her I would be there to support. Bitches watching her shake her ass on stage gonna put money in your pockets? No, but- All right then, let her know you can't make it. Ro. First appointment is at eight, be ready.
So what's the move? What you got planned for Tariq's turn up? Booty clubs all weekend. We lit. Where's Percy? He couldn't fly out today because of work, but he'll be here tomorrow. All right, cool. Well, let's go up to our rooms to freshen up and meet down here in 30. Bit. Come on, luggage. I'm ready to turn the fuck up. Exactly. We're in NOLA, bitches. Hey. Everybody got your bags? Yep. Yep. Let's go. We got an hour before the party starts. I'm ready. Let's go.
stop it. When you gonna let me come see you again? Whenever you make time for me. I'll be there every week if I could. I know you will, baby. What you doing right now? I'm about to take the trash out. Well, hurry up. I want to show you something. <laughs> what you want to show me? You'll see when you get in the bed and cut your camera on. You so bad. You make me this way. How I make you that way? You just so sexy, I can't help it. <laughs> you sexy too. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. And I miss you. You gonna show me how much? Hello? Baby. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Everything all right? Yeah. I thought I saw something, that's all. It was probably just a possum or something. Well, go back inside and things carry diseases. I'm already going. Now, what were you saying about showing me something? <laughs> you sure this a good idea, girl? Look. I promised you I'd come out to support you for your last dance, and I'm keeping my promise. I'll do a roll after this. It's not like I'm gonna be here all night anyway. I'm just saying, I don't want him putting his hands on you over this. He said be ready by eight. We have like an hour, so I'll just watch you until then, and then I'll meet up with him. <sighs> all right, if you're sure. I'm gonna get changed. See you on stage with your bad ass. <laughs> Can I get a henny straight? I got you. Damn, I miss this place. And how you been? Where the heck you been? Oh, what's up, Cali? I've been around. Around where? You working at a new club or something? Nah, I don't dance no more. What? For real? Why not? I just didn't want to do it anymore. First Ice, now you. What's up with y'all, honey? Y'all was with the baddest bitches up in here besides me. Y'all just gonna up and quit? I mean, some of us just don't want to do this all our life, Cal. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Henny straight. Thank you. I'm gonna go get a spot right up front so I can see Ice kill the stage tonight. It was good seeing you, Callie. Ah, oh, you too, bitch. What can I get you? I need a damn tequila shot. Got you, mama. That liquor goes right through me every time. You need a stronger bladder candle. Kendall? Is that your? Cameron, what are you doing here? I'm here celebrating my brother's wedding. That's funny. I'm here celebrating a friend's engagement. <laughs> oh, wow, really? That is a coincidence. It's quite nice to see you outside of work, though. <laughs> you too. Although, it does feel kind of weird. How so? I'm so used to seeing you in your delivery uniform. <laughs> That's true. Well, now you know what I look like outside of it. <clears throat> I should probably be getting back to the girls. It was nice seeing you though, Cameron. Oh, absolutely. Likewise. 
Hope to see more this weekend. <laughs> Bye. Yo. What's up, Nash? What you got going on tonight? Just laid the vine down. I'm chilling now. How's the turn up? It's cool. We at the club right now. I got us a section. Reek got more ass in his face than he can handle. <laughs> Sounds like heaven. Right. <laughs> but I was calling to see if you were able to check in on Danny today. Nah, I didn't have time to do it today, bro. I'll make time tomorrow for sure. I I appreciate it. Just let me know how she doing. I got you. Don't worry. Go on back out there and have a good time, though. Don't be over here stressing yourself out. You in Vegas. Have a good time. Yeah, you right. Hit you tomorrow. Cool. Have a good night, bro. You too. This night been lit as fuck, but it's finally the moment you all been waiting for. The reason y'all came out tonight, coming to the stage for her last dance here at the Pats, is Ice. Good job, mamas. Thank you, baby. I don't understand what the issue is. We can still make the appointment to the first client. I told your ass I didn't want you to go to the club tonight. I told you to cancel on that bitch, didn't I? Bro, I... Didn't I? Bro! Open the door! What the fuck you want? You alright, Don? Come on, let's go. Bitch, she ain't going no fucking way. Ro, just let her go if she wants to go. Ice, just leave it alone, okay? What do you mean, leave it alone? This nigga here beat you like a damn drum. I hear the shit from way across the parking lot. It's okay. It's not okay. Come on. Please just go. Please. I suggest you listen to her. Now move out the fucking way before I run your ass over. Move. This dude dope as fuck. Man, I could do that. Easy. Now you know damn well you can't do that. Kiki, what you doing here, girl? Celebrating my best friend's birthday. That would be me. Jaleel. I think I have a stalker on my hands. <laughs> nah, that's you. Give me a hug, though. Happy birthday. Thank you, baby. What y'all about to get into for the rest of the night? We got a few more clubs to hit. Y'all trying to roll? Hell yeah. I'm trying to get white girl wasted tonight. <laughs> I'm halfway there. Come on. Hold on, Rick. Let me talk to you real quick. What's up? You think that's a good idea? Inviting Jalea to hang? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? I'm just saying, she's your ex. It's bad enough you reconnected with her in Miami. 
cupcaking on the phone and all that. Man, look, I don't need you keeping tabs on me. We and I are just kicking, it ain't that deep. I'm just trying to look out for you. I appreciate it, but I don't need to be looked at, though. Alright, I won't say nothing else about it. Thank you. Can we continue to turn up now? Yep, after you. What club we going to? The Red Room, come on. Thank you for walking me to my door. You didn't have to do that. Oh, uh, no worries. I wanted to. Well, thank you again. Sure thing, love. So, how long are you in town for? Mm, just until Sunday. Alright. Well, hopefully I get to see you again before you take off. <laughs> Good night, Cameron. Good night, beautiful. Sleep good. I plan to. Tonight was epic, my boys. See y'all in the morning. All right, bro. Good night, y'all. Hey, I didn't mean to bother you, but my homegirl has company, if you know what I mean. I won't be getting any sleep tonight if I stay in their room. Can I maybe stay in your room tonight? Kiki, I, I don't think... I sleep on the couch or even the floor if they make you feel better. I just really want to get some rest, that's it. 
please? Come here. You can take the bed. I wouldn't feel right doing that. I don't mind the couch. Kiki, it's fine. Take the bed. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Wait, just stop. Did I do something wrong? No, nah, it's just... I'm tired. You're tired? Yeah. It's been a long night. I just want to lay in the bed. Are you seriously turning down some head right now? Like some good, good head? I'm sorry. Good night. Okay. What was that about? <clears throat> what um <clears throat> what floor uh seven for me going up you on vacation or something no um for work we just landed. Our next flight doesn't take off until tomorrow morning. Cool. What the? Why did you stop the elevator? I miss you, kid. You don't mean that. I don't mean that. I can't get you out of my head. Chuckies. I want you. Tariq, wake up. <laughs> what? Your phone is ringing off the hook. Hello? Reek, wake your ass up, foe. We got things to do today. What time is it? It's almost noon. Percy here. We're all downstairs in the lobby waiting for you. Damn, bro. Give me another 15 minutes. Pop a couple of ibuprofen and bring your ass down here, man. We ain't got all day. <laughs> all right. I'll be down in 30 minutes. If you ain't down here in 30, I'm coming up to get you. I'll be down now. Alright. Leaving? Yeah. They got shit planned for me today. I wish you could stay and live with me all day. <laughs> I would if I could. You could always come with us. You sure? I don't want to, like, intrude or nothing. Man, this weekend is about me. If I want you with us, you can come with us. Okay, let me get dressed. I'm gonna go to my room and shower too. Meet me downstairs when you're done. Okay.
Hey, look who finally rose from the dead. Last night must have been lit as fuck if it got you sleeping in. Oh yeah, something like that. What's this? Oh yeah, this Jalea. You know the girl I've been telling you about. The one you've been seeing? Yep, this her beautiful ass. <laughs> she just so happens to be celebrating her birthday here and staying in the same hotel as us. Crazy, right? Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Well, go on, baby. Don't be rude. Greet the man. <clears throat> Hi. Nice to meet you. Yeah. You too. <clears throat> Y'all ready to get up out of here? Yeah, let's go. It's just us? Where the hell are everybody else at? DQ and Keys will catch up with us later. So they can sleep in, but I can't. Nigga, this weekend is for you. Hell no, you can't sleep in. Let's go. Shit. I'm here to visit Diamond Hall. Please sign in. Room 203. Thank you. Dime, it's me. I'm coming in. Hey, babes. How you feeling? I'm okay. What happened? After we left the club last night, he took me to the motel. And I went inside to take care of my first client for the night. The dude only ended up paying for like 30 minutes. So... That went by fast. When I came back out, I could tell he was still upset, but I still had like three more clients for the night. And I figured, you know, he'd be over it by then. I was wrong. what he do? I finished up with my last client at around like three in the morning and I gave him his cut. He said he wanted to go grab something to eat before he took me home. And, you know, I didn't think nothing about it. But he ended up taking me to this house. I didn't recognize it. And I asked him where we was at and all he told me was to just get out. So I got out and he took me inside and there was this group of men in there. How many? About five. What did he bring you there for? He, um, <clears throat> he pulled off my clothes and made me dance for them. What? He kept saying, you wanted to shake your ass, right? This is what you wanted, right? <sighs> he was just so upset about me going to support you at Pat's. And I guess him seeing me on stage didn't make it no better. That's crazy. And that's not all. He let them... <clears throat> he... He let them do whatever they wanted to. And then after, he beat me for it. He beat me so bad, I just knew he was going to kill me. I'm so sorry, Don. Did you call the cops? <laughs> yes, they're looking for him. Good, that nigga needs to pay for what he did. I wouldn't have even got the police involved. I would have made sure it was handled the street way. Well, I don't have nobody from the streets to look out for me like that. <sighs> I just wish you would have just came with me last night when I asked you to. 
I wanted to. Believe me, I did. But I saw how upset he was, and I didn't want him to do anything to hurt you. I get it, but damn. How long will you be in here? Hopefully I can go home tomorrow. They want to run some tests still, just to make sure that I don't have a concussion or any serious issues before they release me. That makes sense. Well, look, I'm here for you, bitch. If there's anything you need me to do, just let me know. I appreciate you, Janae. You've been the realest friend I've had since I've come to LA. You've been my only friend, if I'm being honest. Thank you. You ain't gotta thank me. You just need to focus on your recovery and get your ass home. <laughs> I am. I have a few errands to run, so I'm gonna head out for a while. I'll be back to check on you later. Okay. Thanks for coming. Of course. And if you check out tomorrow and need a ride, let me know. I have a photo shoot in the morning, so depending on the time they let you leave, I may be able to come get you. All right. I'll keep you posted. All right, mama. I'll talk to you later. Visiting someone? No, I'm actually here for chemo. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be, sweetheart. Cancer ain't beat me yet. I'm still kicking. Feel sorry for me if I stop. That's one way to look at the glass half full. You got to. Life is hard enough without worrying yourself about things you can't control. All we can do is our best in life and hope it's enough. That's true. Well, I'm all signed in. Have a good day, young lady. You too. I'm just signing out from a visit. Have a good day. You as well. I gotta take this. I'll be back. What's up, bro? Not much. How's day two in Vegas going? It's going. A little messy, but I'll tell you about that when we get back. Alright, cool. But, uh, I wanted to let you know. I came by the center to check up on Danielle. Like I promised. How's she doing? She, uh... She's not here no more, bro. What do you mean she's not there no more? They told me she checked out. Checked out by who? All they told me was some dude came through, claiming to be her father, and she agreed to let him check her out. You heard me? Yeah, I heard you. Thanks for the update, fam. Everything I? Right? Yeah, I'll hit you later. I right. do that. Bye. Hey Owen, I tried calling Ma, but she ain't answering. She near you? She's, uh, she's in the bathroom right now. Everything all right? Yeah, I was just calling to let her know I'll be by to pick up Divine in about an hour or two. I just got to run a few errands and check out on the bar. Oh, don't worry about it. She can stay tonight. You sure? 
I know y'all old and everything. Oh. <laughs> I'm messing around. But thanks, if y'all change your mind and want me to come get her, just let me know and I'll be right over. We won't. Take care of business today, Denise. Come get in the morning. All right, later. All right, bye. Keep up the good work, y'all. And don't forget to lock up. Hello? Hey, are you busy? Nah, what's up? Can you come by for a minute? Everything alright with Mir? Yeah, he's with my mother for the weekend. So what is it? I don't know. I just have this weird feeling. Can you just come by? I'll be over there in a minute. Thank you. Bye. Come in. So what's up? Look, I don't know if I'm tripping or what, but lately it's been feeling real weird around here. Weird how? I feel like someone is watching me. The other night I was in my room lotioning up after a shower, and I heard the trash can fall outside my window. I ran and looked, but I didn't see anybody. It probably was a dog or something. So a dog is stalking me, Denise? What else would it be, Allie? You think it's Jermaine or something? I, I don't know. It's not him. He don't know where you live. You just being paranoid. Can you, um, can you stay with me tonight? Allie. I mean, I know it's probably not appropriate to ask, but I've been feeling real uneasy staying here by myself. Please? You know I can't stay the night over here. I can stay for a few hours, but after that, I gotta go. <sighs> All right. I guess that's better than nothing. Thank you. You're welcome. What you got to eat in here, though? I'm starving. <laughs> My house is not a soup kitchen. It is tonight. Don't touch my jello. Hey babe, just calling to check on you and see how your weekend in Vegas is going so far. I tried calling last night too, but I guess you're really enjoying yourself. I just would like if you'd call me or text me back to let me know if you're okay, that's all. I love you and I miss you. Call me back when you can. Okay, bye. <sighs> Come on girl, they're about to bring out the cake for Brenda. It got sparklers on it and everything. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> so what this about? We noticed you and Keith been off all day. At first, we thought maybe y'all was just hungover from yesterday. But at dinner, we could tell y'all was just deep in thoughts. <sighs> I saw Kia last night. We had sex on the elevator, and she was gone before I woke up. I've been trying to move on from her, but that shit ain't easy. Shorty I met last night was trying to top me off, and I couldn't even go through with it. That's how fucked up my head been about him. And last night just complicated things even more. I don't know how to move after that. <sighs> then he checked out of rehab. 
she doing drugs again. I fucked Jaleel last night, and she seeing Percy. I don't know if I want to get married. Kiki seduced me last night, man. I haven't been answering Kendall's calls because I can't even face her after what happened. Sounds like we could all use a drink. Crazy weekend. For real. Ali, Ali, wake up. I'm about to go, okay? Thank you for staying with me. Good night. Night. I left my phone. Look up, got me chasing you through the streets. I said, look up, nigga. fuck you doing lurking around her house, huh? You really want to know the answer to that? Because I don't mind giving you every motherfucking detail. I was going to give her another sample of this dick, but I was going to make sure she wasn't around this time to run her fucking mouth. Nigga, I'll kill you. That's probably your best bet, bitch boy. Because if you don't, I'm going to follow through with it. And I don't stop there. I'll come for your other bitch next, nigga. What was her name again? Oh yeah, yeah, Shaniqua. I'ma fuck her till she pass out. Can't forget about your kids. You got two, right? <laughs> they won't be around to see their second birthday, nigga. Kiki, what are you doing here? Well, you've been avoiding me and we need to talk. Talk about what? Do you really want to have this conversation in the hallway? <sighs> Come in. DQ, I- What was that about the other night? You just start sucking me off while I'm asleep? Who does shit like that? I do, you know why? Because I want you, DQ. I want you back. I want us back. So the best way you could think of to make that happen is by doing what you did. I didn't see you stopping me. Don't even pull that shit with me. 
You know I tried to fight you off. Clearly not hard enough because I remember swallowing your kids that night. Get out. I'm sorry if I offended you, but I'm not sorry for doing what I did. I don't regret it. I love you. Those feelings haven't gone away. Do you know how hard it is to sit around and watch you love someone else? To pretend to be happy for you? That shit hurts. You ain't got nobody but yourself to blame for how our relationship ended. You were fucking my cousin, remember? Not only that, you lied about being pregnant just to keep me around. You broke that trust, Kiki. Now you think you can do whatever you see fit to get me back. That shit's not happening. What happened that night will never happen again, do you hear me? When we get back to LA, I need you gone. You firing me? You didn't seriously think I'd keep you around after what happened this weekend, did you? DQ. I need you to go. But... Go! Okay. I'll go. Just know that I deeply regret everything I put you through in the past. But people change, and we all deserve another chance to prove that we're different. I love you, and I'll never stop. Kiki, I told you. We gotta go. Go where? What's going on? We gotta get back to LA now. Owen called mine in the hospital. What? You currently show no signs of a concussion or internal damage of any kind. Thank God. So, does this mean I get to go home today? Yes, you're free to go. Thank you. You're very welcome. Just make sure you're giving yourself enough time to rest and not overexerting yourself if you want those wounds to heal properly. Of course, I'll take it easy, I promise. Do you have someone who can pick you up? Yes, I'm calling her right now. Okay, great. If you have any other questions, please feel free to let me know. I will. Thanks again. Hello? <laughs> Hello, am I speaking with Diamond Hall? Yes, this is Diamond. Who is this? <laughs> My name is Sierra. Three years ago, you gave birth to a beautiful little boy and put him up for adoption. <laughs> My husband and I adopted him and <laughs> he needs you. What happened? He was hit by a car last night. He needs a blood transfusion, but he has a very rare blood type. A B negative, just like me. Yes, can you help us? Please save my baby boy. Give me the location of the hospital. I'll book a flight right now. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll send it all to you now. Stay strong, okay? I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay, bye. Hello? Hi, um, it's me, Diamond. Hey, is everything all right? I'm actually in the hospital getting ready to check out. You're in the hospital? What happened? I can't get into the details right now, but I do need a favor. Anything. Can you please give me a ride to the airport? The airport? Yes. I have to go to New York for something really important. Um... Okay, yeah, sure. I'll have my husband bring me now. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Be there in 20 minutes. Okay, bye. The Q said he gonna introduce us to someone running out a nice lot we can use to store and sell the cars. All right, cool, cool. I looked into upcoming auctions and there are a few happening over the next few months nearby. Good. We're going to have to be at every one of them. Never know what gems we'll come across there. 
For real. Um, babe, sorry to interrupt, but I need you to take me to the hospital to pick up Diamond. What's she doing at the hospital? I don't know. She wouldn't tell me. She just needs us to give her a ride to the airport. All right. We'll finish this conversation later, Miles. All right, family. Just let me know when you want to meet again. I got you. I hope your friend is all right. Thank you, Miles. Drive safe. Let me grab my keys and we can go. What's going on? What happened with mama? I rushed her to the hospital because she wouldn't stop coughing. It was so bad she started coughing up blood. Why? What caused it? They ain't give us details yet. They're in there running tests on her now. How long you been here waiting? A little over an hour. I know this mom been coughing a lot. I hope it ain't nothing serious. All we can do right now is wait and see what the doctor says. Where's Cam? She couldn't catch the earlier flight. She'll be here later. Come on, boys, take a seat. Doc, is everything okay? What's going on with her? Is she alive? Why was she caught from no blood? Is it treatable? Boys, I know you're worried and you want answers. We all do. We can't get them if we don't let the doctor speak. Go ahead, doc. Can I speak to you in private, please, Owen? In private? Why you gotta speak to him in private? We're her sons. We should be getting the updates before anyone else. I'm sorry, but it's been requested that no information on my patient's condition is shared unless stated otherwise by the husband. It'll be a HIPAA violation. Hold up, hold up. Rewind that? Unless stated otherwise by the husband? I ain't even married. What are y'all talking about? What's going on right now? A vet now married. What? what? Since when? Why we ain't know about this? All right, everybody chill. I know this is a shock to us, but right now we're here to find out what's going on with Ma. All the other shit can wait. Keith is right. We didn't want y'all to find out this way. But uh, I promise I'll explain everything later. What's going on with the doc? I give you permission to speak in front of them. Their family and they need to hear this too. All right. Well, the chemo has been working fairly well for Yvette up until now. Chemo? Yes, Yvette has stage three breast cancer. She has been undergoing chemotherapy for months and things seem to be looking up, but somehow the cancer spread. Spread? Where? To her lungs. That's why she's been coughing up blood. Are you serious? Oh my God. Come on, Nez. Sit down for a minute. So what's the next step to fixing this? We have more tests to run to determine how much it's progressed. We won't be able to determine the best course of treatment for her until then. Can we see her? She's resting right now. We prefer she has no visitors until we complete all necessary tests. That's everything we know at this time, but I will keep you all updated as soon as we learn more. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. She's going to be all right, boys. Yvette is a strong woman, and she'll bounce back from this. Our mama done had cancer all this time, and nobody told us. She was going through chemo for months, and we ain't even know. We didn't want y'all to worry. (sighs) No matter how you flip it, y'all did wrong for this, Owen. Did wrong. Chess, where are you going, man? Ha <laughs> <laughs>
Get off my damn property. You the reason she back on the streets, nigga. You giving her drugs. I ain't do nothing to her she ain't want me to do. She back on the streets because she want to be. Enough! Break it up! I'll fucking kill you! I'll fucking kill you, nigga! 1054. We need an ambulance right away. Thanks again for doing this for me. It's no problem. You still haven't told me how you landed in the hospital, though. <sighs> Ro. He did this to you? Yeah, but the good thing is I did call the police and there's a warrant out for his arrest. Good. I knew he was a no good son of a bitch when I met him that night. I was trying to warn you. I know you were. My sister was too, but it's not always easy to just leave. Oh, you don't have to tell me. You know my story. So what are you going to the airport for? Moving again? No, I'm not moving. Good. Because I was hoping we could get to know each other again. What? What happened to you just reminded me how special life is. And also how it can be taken away from us in an instant. You're still here despite what you've been through with Ro. And I'm still here despite what I've been through with Mike. I see it as another chance for us. I would like that. Good. There's Trent with the car. Come on. Hey, yo, Diamond. <gasps> Get in the car, Diamond. She ain't going no fucking way with you, bitch. Hey, get in the car, y'all. Man, get your ass in that car and see what the fuck I do to you. Nigga, what the fuck you finna do, huh? You gonna put your hands on her again? I wanna see you put your fucking hands on me, fuck nigga. <laughs> Baby, can we please go? Or right, get in the car now. Nah. Come on, let's just get in the car. You too, Diamond. Yeah, get in. See what happens. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know what all this shit is about, but the both of you need to take it off the premises right now. Did I stutter? Now. <laughs> I see you around. You should hope the fuck not. You too. I'm going. Get in, Diamond. You should call the police, Dime. Tell them he showed up at the hospital harassing you. Okay. Okay, thank you. What did they say? They said if I see him again, it's just call back because they can't really do anything except keep a record since he left and we don't know where he went. I hope they find him soon. 
They will. Don't worry yourself about it, though. We don't need you passing that stress to our baby. <sighs> right. Mommy don't want to stress you out. <laughs> Do you know what you're having? We having another girl. Seems like that's all you know how to make, baby. <laughs> nah, we finna have a boy. I don't give a fuck how many times we gotta try. I never turn down some practice. Ugh, y'all are so cute. It's sickening. <laughs> <laughs> so what time your flight take off? In a little under an hour. All right, cool. We only about 10 minutes away. You'll make it. Get out! Nah, nah, baby, you okay? Nah, come on, come on, get up. Is she okay? Please, baby, get up. Call the cops. Okay. <laughs> Someone's been shot. We need an ambulance right away. We're at the intersection of Peachtree and Melrose. <laughs> Just send somebody. Please hurry.